that way and I'll, I'll <laughs> you want to put her in the middle. So here is the specials menu and the sushi and the individual pieces of sushi. And Aaron is here, which is always a fun time. And here is the dim sum and the baking. <laughs> You're always here. <laughs> You're always everywhere, honey. Yeah, I'll take that. And here is the specialty mm. cocktail and beer this list. Is the oh, I, wonder, I didn't look. I went there a month ago. I did that. Beautiful chandeliers. And pull upstairs. Last night I spent $50 and there's the kitchen. Isn't that nice? So I don't even give a shit. This is the nigiri, and we think it's called Tiger Jaw or uh, razor, razor Jaw. jaw. Razor jaw. And it was $12, and it's a very rare fish that came all the way from Japan. Fresh. Not fresh, not brand new, like today. Oh man, that it's... table there got our popcorn shrimp. No, it didn't. No, they it, didn't. They did. They just put it down there. Let's see what it that wasn't like. ours, that was theirs. It was supposed to have been ours. Uh oh. I dropped the rice. <laughs> How is that, Aaron? Is it flavorful or delicate? Fishy. Give me a second. It is. It is oily, like you said. Like it's a mackerel fine. kind of oily or salmon? Oh, it's more like a salmon kind okay. of oily. Okay. But it's a much lighter flavor. And, uh,. Much more chewy than a salmon or a tuna. It's actually got a chew to it. Oh, really? Yeah, that's why I couldn't really bite it in half. <laughs> the rice fell out of it. But no, it's, it's actually it's a light fish that oh. would probably more or less take on the flavor that you put on it. Oh, that's nice. So maybe don't soak it so much in soy. Hi there. Thank you so much. Uh, popcorn shrimp pifo, right, in my right in the middle would be wonderful. Uh, comes to us from Goku Jin Aioli, so it's a little spicy, but also savory as well. Thank also, you. Spicy sounds amazing to me. Okay. Oh. They had wasabi at the bottom of the rice. There it is. Oh. You're wondering where the wasabi went. The this is the spicy popcorn shrimp tempura with a aioli on it. And it is not too spicy. It's very mild. Yeah. Kind of sweet. Mm. It starts to eat. It's like a three step. Very a fresh. Spice, a sweet, and then a savory. It mm -hmm. goes in a step. At the first bite, it tastes like buffalo sauce. Yeah, that's very good. Almost, but then it, it's got a really nice Asian and then it turns sweet, sweet chili sauce. It turns to sweet it. chili, like, and then it suddenly goes. Somewhere savory. in the middle, though, somewhere in the, in the median is a, a barbecue sauce. Mm. Like yeah. a Hawaiian taste. That's very good. And this was $18, and it is an appetizer, but it's nice to have for all three of us, or even a table of four, to split. I would come here once a week and eat the... Oh, wait, can I keep the elderberry? I would like to keep that. Wow. Thank you. You get the pig and ducks and the chili chickens and scallions. That's beautiful. Oh, wow, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can I get the chili chicken? Yeah, you can have the Oh, yes. Thank you. Wait, I have to have pancakes with duck. Steamed what? Pancakes. Pancakes. And you have the half rack of spare ribs with a extraordinarily sticky looking sauce. Mm -mm -mm. Smells amazing. I think tonight we're the table that everybody else looks at. Like, I don't know them. What did they order? Oh, that's 60 bucks. Never mind. So oh, the wait. duck was $66. And then try. the spare ribs were 32? Yes. Yeah, I think so. And then they each come with just steamed rice. That's the only side that you get. That's and right. our shumai hasn't arrived, even though. What's the shumai? I don't know. They're dumplings. Oh, oh. Are they sticky and sweet, Aaron? Yeah. And they're falling off the bone, you said? And there's like a bit of soy in there, too. Mm. But they're very, it's a very sticky sauce, very savory sauce. There's orange in that, too. Oh, nice. But uh, you can see the glaze. Look how it shines. It looks good. Thank you. And we got the shumai, which looks beautiful. It came out steamy. So good. <laughs> Michael's enjoying it. <laughs> this right here just pulls off the bone. Mmm. <laughs> it's hot, okay. 
we got to be careful. The shumai is hot. And the shumai was $16 for four pieces. And it had pork and shrimp and veg in it. So we ended up having to send the duck back the first time, even though it looked beautiful. It was cold, like really cold. It wasn't even warm. But the second time it came back around, it was a bit better. It was, it was very tender, but it was kind of, uh, thank you. It was um, kind of bland, but the, the sauces made up for that because the sauces were delicious. The ribs were amazing. They were sticky and crunchy and sweet and savory all at the same time. They were really good. Yeah, it was really, it's a really good sauce. And then yeah. they were firm until you bit it and then it just pulled right off. This oh, they were like. really, yeah. They yeah. definitely just were tender when you pulled them off the bone. Um, and then we also had the shumai, which came late, unfortunately. Uh, it came after the duck, which was weird. But they were um, very tasty. Just I didn't try that. A little bit bland, but the sauce that they came with was really good. So yeah, yeah, overall, a pretty decent meal. A little bit overhyped. I think I overhyped it in my mind I more think than so anything. Too. Yeah, the ribs were definitely not overhyped. Those were good. But the service is impeccable. The ambiance is gorgeous. It's it's a very what, beautiful what place. I don't know. Michael? I don't remember. Oh, what is your name? Thank again? you. My name is G. G. Yes. G. Thank G you. Is great. G is okay. wonderful. G is you ask okay. for him next time. Thank you. <laughs> so, <laughs> overall, pretty decent meal. Now we're going to head back to the hotel and drink. people watch I'm and drink. Kidding. Yeah. <laughs> people watch and drink out on the balcony. <laughs> We're at the Abracadab Bar, downstairs at the Boardwalk Inn and Villas. I forgot what it's called now. The Three Daughters from St. Petersburg, Florida. Nice. I'm the manliest person here. Got the girly straight. Cheers. It's a beer. Because it's like three girls bimini. What did you get? Do you remember? Uh, mirror something. Mm. Oh yeah. What'd you get? Mm. Something mirror. The black mirror. The dark mirror. Something mirror. Yeah. This one I don't remember what it was called, but it has pineapple. This tastes really good. And That's orange and coconut mm -hmm. and Captain Morgan spice rum. So it tastes like a vacation in a glass. That tastes like it's pretty good. Oh, rum. What's yours? Bacardi rum and juices. Sprite. So it's like a spritzer type of right. deal? Yeah, I don't know. And you just got an IPA, oh, didn't lime you? juice in here. Yeah. yeah. Uh, three Daughters Bimini mm. IPA. This is extremely Bimini. good. It is very fruity and not too alcoholic for me. I don't really taste any alcohol in mine, but I'm too far gone for tasting alcohol. <laughs> mine? Is this a straw? No. <laughs> See? It's a skewer. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, honey. <laughs>